Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric. I've got another fun and random episode for you guys this Friday because I asked Twitter if they wanted me to open up this never before seen Korean PC release of Bubble Memories because it's not anywhere online that I can find. And of course, they said yes. So what we're going to do today is open this game up. I'm going to dump it and leave a link below. And we're going to find out exactly what's going on with this Korean exclusive release of Bubble Memories because I do love this game. Before you get too far involved though, do me a huge favor. Go down below, hit like, subscribe, that notification bell definitely helps us out. Bub is a subscriber, and if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But the story is, I bought this game like four years ago because I saw it on eBay when I was trying to find a Taito F3 arcade copy of Bubble Memories, and it did not sell for anything more than like 20 bucks. And interestingly, the owner of this game contacted me on YouTube a few months ago and said, Hey, you didn't happen to buy that on eBay like four years ago, did you? I confirmed I did, and I actually talked to the person who ended up with the game. And you'll see here, it is a Korean release for Korea only, and it's released by b and Soft, and it works on Windows 95, 98, 2000, and XP. But it's definitely a budget release, but not too much of one, because this is fully embossed. I've loved this slipcover, and since Bubble Memories never released as a standalone game outside of the arcades, this is the only way you can put a copy of Bubble Memories on your shelf unless you have the arcade board. And you will see here this game is sealed, so we're going to have to open it up to see what's going on inside of it. Now, am I doing something stupid? Am I ruining the value of this game? Eh, probably. Do I care? Eh, not really. I mean, I've never seen another copy of this game available, I've never seen it for sale, but I did talk to a Korean collector and he did inform me that in fact it was a released budget title in Korea, so I know it's at least official, and now, whatever the value was, is definitely diminished by me taking this wrap off, but we can't see what's on the disc and I can't release it if I don't open it, right? But, what am I going to do? I mean, it's been sitting on my shelf for four years, I don't collect sealed games, I just never had a chance to think about opening it up. But you'll see here as we get into the menu, it is set up as an auto run, and there's a lot of different folders here, including DirectX, so it does need DirectX to run, apparently, although it did not ask me to install it, because of course I have a much newer version. And you have these different cursor icons, so even if this is just a straight emulation of the ROM, there is some stuff on this disc that I think collectors of Bubble Bobble, Bubble Memories, and Taito stuff will really enjoy that's probably not available anywhere else. So for that reason alone, I hope you guys do enjoy this release. But further on into the disc, you're going to find that there is a movie, and it's basically the intro to the arcade board. And when you're playing this game, and I'll talk about how to get it running in a little bit, it seems like it can't emulate or run the intro movie. It has to play it as a movie in and of itself. It's not executing in code, it's just playing it as a video, which is a very strange thing to have to do. But I will say trying to get this thing to run is extremely difficult, but on Windows 10 you can do it. And I had to play around with all the different compatibility layers with different service packs of XP, 95, 98, and ME just did not work whatsoever. It would just black the screen out like you see here. But the good thing is I was able to get this game running, but of course if I got too far involved, I did dump the image of this disc. And if you look in the description below, there is a link to archive.org. Go ahead and have fun with it, decompile it. Maybe this ROM is slightly different than the one used in MAME. This is for you guys to figure out. But I did get the window to open at least, and I could hear the game running. I just couldn't see anything. So what I actually did was had Windows 10 try to test around the edges and see what they thought would work. And 99 out of 100 times, the automated troubleshooter will not do anything. But I will say this is the one rare time in which it actually in fact worked. And you'll get this little splash screen here. You got start game, help, movie, key, and sound and then it opens up in the most ridiculously small window you could ever possibly imagine now this is a 3440 widescreen 21 by 9 monitor but that is running in 320 by 240 but of course through the magic of obs i can scale that up it's going to be a soft image but i don't think they were expecting this high resolution monitor in 2002 in fact i know they were not but this is definitely emulating something, and I will say the sound quality is quite interesting, so go ahead and listen to the PC release followed by the Taito F3 original, and I'll be right back. Oh, my God. 
Now it pops up quick and you probably just missed it, but the Q Sound logo came up here before the ROM boots and you saw the MCU, the Motorola 68000 reset. Now, I do not believe that the Taito F3 has a Q-Sound chip on board. In fact, my arcade board doesn't load up like that, neither does MAME, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But what I can say is this is emulating, and it is doing a poor job of it. Even if I can't find a reference to the emulator in the files, I really don't think this is a Windows XP release. But on the intro, Korean PC on the left and Taito F3 on the right, you're going to see that there are a lot of graphics missing from the Korean PC release, and that's why. I do believe this to be emulation and a poor effort at that now this could be some sort of in-house emulator taito whipped up really quickly or bnt soft in korea did this could be an early implementation of mame it is hard to say what's going on here but i'm sure once you get the files people smarter than me and more interested than me are going to unpack it and be able to leave me a comment telling me exactly what is going on because i am quite curious the timing of everything the transition seems to link up perfectly fine maybe a frame or two off but those graphics being missing are the issue now is the korean pc release the best way to play bubble memories absolutely not just if you want to emulate it use mame it's available on a playstation 2 compilation disc quite expensive and rare i wouldn't bother with that one either and hey if you find a second copy of this korean pc release i would buy it because i've never seen one outside of the one i own I'm giving this to you guys below in the link because I'm always talking about preservation on the channel. People don't seem to have this. It doesn't seem to be available. I asked Korean collectors and they couldn't find it. Therefore, this seems like the first time it's going to be available for anyone and that's what I like to do. But they can't all be winners. Sometimes they get to release a prototype that no one's ever seen before. Sometimes they get to release a game on a Korean auto run a PC budget title. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. But there are some other fun additions on the disc. Of course, because it is a PC release, you're going to have a manual and it is all in Korean. But it's kind of fun just to see of the sprite work and the fact that this game actually released and that's kind of the fun thing about this is that I don't know of a second copy. Maybe someone watching this is going to say that they have one, and I would love to find that out because I'm assuming this doesn't sell really well, and I've only ever seen the copy in my possession, and now I can share that with you. But Bubble Memories in and of itself is an extremely fun game. I would say that Bubble Symphony, the other Bubble Bobble game on the F3, is my preferred version of the game to play, but this one is awesome too, and if you've never played the game somehow, I can't highly recommend it enough. It's definitely something you want to play, and it's a bummer that it never had a physical release on a game console. Obviously, Bubble Bobble, Bubble Bobble Part 2, you can get those on consoles. Bubble Symphony had a Japanese exclusive release on the Sega Saturn, and I do own that because I love this franchise. But Bubble Memories only released three ways, the arcade version, the version on the PlayStation 2 compilation disc, and apparently a Korean PC exclusive release that we're talking about now. If there's a fourth version, leave me a comment down below. It is hard for me to keep track of every single game in existence, and hey, maybe I missed one. But yeah, that is Bubble Memories, the Korean exclusive release. Who knows if it's been dumped before, but it's been dumped today, and that means that collectors and preservationists can go through the files and see what else might be in there. But speaking about games I haven't opened up, and I don't collect sealed games, I have not played Paprium, and it's been in my collection for 18 months. Should I open it up on camera and play it? Leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.